Hi everyone, it's Bethany, and in this tutorial, I am going to quickly show you how you can address a Cricut Joy envelope with your Cricut Joy machine. So I am going to be using the envelopes that come in the card pack. The card pack includes the cards, the insert cards, and then the envelopes, so it really completely sets you up. And so I'm gonna be using one of the envelopes in there. And what we're gonna to do today is we are going to put our from address and our to address on this envelope correspondingly. And I've had a lot of people ask me how to do this, especially since I um, put up my tutorial on how to write inside of a Cricut Joy card. So if you're curious on how to do that and you want to learn how to put a sentiment inside of your card, then I'll link it up here um, in case you did miss that. So we are going to be addressing the front of the envelope today and it's so easy. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. We are going to be using the envelopes from the Cricut Joy card pack. We'll be using the Cricut Joy pen. And then this one is the one that came with the Cricut Joy. So this is the Fine Point Point Four black pen. You can use any color that you want. I seriously need to invest in more Cricut Joy pens because I'm using the pen feature a lot more than I thought I would. So I think I had to kind of prove that I was gonna use this feature a lot more. Um, before investing, but I kind of think that I'm ready to get some more colors because I've been having some fun with this. So other than the cards and the pen, I will be using the Cricut Joy card mat for this. And then of course the cute little Cricut Joy. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna note the size of the envelope first and foremost. So on your um, card pack, it will show you the dimensions for everything that's included, um, the cards, the inserts, and then the envelopes. So they will tell us that the insert, or I'm sorry, that the envelopes are 4.37 inches by 5.75 inches. So we are going to remember those specific dimensions and we are going to input them in Cricut Joy, or I'm sorry, in Cricut Design Space when we go to um, get into our canvas and design our envelope. So let's go ahead and pop into Cricut Design Space and I'll show you how to get everything laid out. Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to create a little shape box using the shapes over here, and I'm gonna add a square, and what I'm doing is I'm just gonna replicate the size of the envelope, and this is just gonna help me when sizing my text. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to unlock it because our envelope is not a perfect square, and by unlocking, it allows us to change the width and the height it to anything we would like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the width and I'm going to type in 5.75 and then I'm going to go to the height and I'm going to type in 4.37. Whoops, other way, 4.37. Okay, and this is the dimensions that were on the front of the Cricut Joy card box. So we are just replicating the Cricut Joy envelopes. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and make this white Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add my text. So I'm gonna start with my um, sender address right here so that who it's coming from. So I'm gonna go to my text box. I am using a text called Kaiden and I will search it for you. It's K-Y-D-E-N. Um, it's really, really nice. It is a single layer, a single layer cutting font, but it's also a writing font. So it's a good candidate for writing. So I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna make sure that the style is set to writing and then my font size is going to be whoops let's see where did it go let's see my font let me write it out and then we'll worry about our font size so I'm gonna go ahead and write out who it's coming from so I'm just gonna make up something fun I'm gonna say yours truly and then I'm going to hit my return or enter button to go to the next line and I'm going to type out my address Okay, so now that I have written it all out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up to the text box and I am going to make this font size about 21. Okay, so now that it is sized how I want it to, I'm going to go ahead and click and drag it where I want it. And again, this is gonna just kinda help me size and make sure that I know what it's gonna really look like on the card, so or on the envelope. So there we go, I think that looks perfect. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna click on this um, the return address and I'm going to come over here and hit duplicate. So by hitting duplicate, uh, duplicate, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ensure that my text is the same size um, that I already did. So I can just double click and then I can come up here to the little text box and I can just change this to um, the recipient address. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'm just going to make up something fun. So we'll say my honeybee and then I will just add a fun little address. 
And again, I'm just clicking enter after every line to go to the next line. Enter, and then add a fun little zip code. Okay, so now for this um, address, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to highlight everything and actually, I don't think you even need to highlight everything, but I'm going to come up here to alignment and I'm going to say center. So for my sender address, I like it to be left justified. I think it just looks really clean and nice up here. But for my recipient address that's going to go right in the middle, I think them centering it looks really nice. Okay. So that is how that's going to look. Um, so you can, again, choose any font that you would like. And I liked the size of about of about 21 for the font size that might change depending on what type of um, font you use so if it, that's okay if you decide to go a little bit bigger or smaller if your font that you're using um, seems to be bigger or smaller correspondingly okay so now what we're going to do is we are going to go over to the rectangle that we made um, to replicate our envelope and we are just going to hide that because we don't need the joy cutting out a um, rectangle for us. So we'll just hide that there. We have our joy selected here. So now what we can do is we can click make it. Real quick, I'm just gonna make sure that these are using the pen I want them to. So this is a fine point, um, point four, and I'm just gonna say black. That way it knows I'm using the same pen for both. Okay, and it should. Okay, perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to click make it and then it's going to ask me what I want to use in terms of matte. So I'm going to do an on the card matte and I'm going to click done. Okay, so now that it has loaded it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I am going to select the 4.25 by 5.5. That is the closest, in my opinion, to um, the size of the envelope. So I'm going to click that. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and turn these around. And I'm going to place them, giving myself some room where that red line is. I'm going to, you know, pull it away from that line. And I'm going to do the same here. And I'm just going to pull this towards the center. Okay, so when I have everything placed how I would like it, again, I'm just using these, this little um, circular arrow to um, switch it around and flip it around. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click continue and then it's going to locate my joy via Bluetooth. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to select our material. And what I do for that is I just simply select the insert card card stock. Uh, this would be the same setting that you use to do a Cricut Joy card. So I just select that. And then it's going to tell us to load our black pen in the clamp and then load our mat into the machine. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're now going to load our Cricut Joy pen. So what we'll do is we will just come here and open the clamp up and remove our little blade. We can just set that to the side. And then we're going to open our pen and we are going to place it in and just simply close the clamp. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the little protective film off of the Cricut Joy mat. This just protects it when you're not in use, keeps the hair and grime off of your mat to keep it nice and sticky. Now, one thing that's really important is you wanna make sure that your envelope is right side up. So I had it laid out so that my um, return, um, return address is up here and my um, sender or my recipient address is in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that, that my little opening is on the right side. So I'm just going to line that up perfectly, making sure that my top of my envelope is lined up with this blue part right here and then correspondingly the other side is right here okay so I'm just gonna make sure that, that is straight on there okay and then I'm just gonna press down and then I will insert it into the machine once the mat has been aligned it'll allow me to click go on my computer or whatever device i'm using so i'm going to go ahead and click go and then it will start writing out my addresses 
So something a little silly about the writing feature is that it writes in any order, which is kind of fun. It kind of keeps you guessing, but right now it has a little bit of the yours truly or the top line, and then it has a couple letters from the second line, and then it has a couple letters from the third line. And it's kind of going in a random order. So I just wanted to mention that because the first time that I did the writing feature, I thought I did something wrong because I was like, why isn't it writing in order? Um, and it's just something that it does. So I think it's silly. It kind of keeps you guessing and it almost makes it really fun to watch. So if yours does that, no worries. So now it's finished doing the recipient and it's now going back to do a little bit more on the sender. So it's a little silly how it goes back and forth. Um, so watching it can be a little bit keeping you on the edge of your seat. Okay, so now it's done. I can go ahead and click unload. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make sure that I close my cap to my pen. That way it keeps my pen all fresh. And then I will return my blades so that it can stay safe into in the machine. So now it is all done. So now you have your sender address and your recipient address all perfectly on there. So to remove it from the card what you, or from the mat, what you're going to do is I like to just flip my mat over and then just place a palm once you can on the envelope and then bend the mat and not your envelope that way it keeps it perfectly straight and there's no curling so it's just perfect now so once you get um your first one done you can see if you want to move anything around the next time you can kind of get your feel for where everything will be placed on the final envelope now i do want to say i'm sure there's a million different ways that you can do this so if you find a way that works better for you then totally do it um, this is the way that i would do it so if your way looks a little bit different that's totally Totally fine and you can do it however you would like um, as long as you have a nice card that's perfect in the end then that is what matters so go ahead and use whatever method you would like all right everyone I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and saw how easy it is to add an address to an envelope and if you did enjoy it and learn something new please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment tell me what you're crafting in the comment section I'd love to hear from you if you're new here please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss what's coming next I believe the next craft I'm doing is I'm going to be making some paint pantry labels for a couple of my jars that I have. So I'm going to be um, doing that soon. So be sure you're all subscribed and ready to go because that will be coming to the channel next. All right, everyone have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.